Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a realistic strawberry using watercolor. So I first start with the sketching, and as you can see here, I mark out the seeds and glossy parts on the strawberry as well. This will help you in the painting process afterwards. To ensure there's no pencil sketching left on my finished painting, I like to outline my sketching with light watercolor and wait until it's dry, then erase the pencil sketching. After I'm done with outlining, I start putting the first layer on and make sure to avoid the glossy parts and the seeds on the strawberry. You can also use masking fluid to cover the areas you don't want any paint on, but I prefer to just leave some blanks. I always try to keep the first layer lighter, so we can work on layers and add details later on. For a strawberry, there are about three different levels of red color. First one is near the glossy area in the central part, which has an orange red tone color. Then moving towards outside is the brighter red color. Lastly, around the farthest outside is the darkest red color with a little bit brown and purple tone. It's quite important to find out the right color for the realistic paintings. I usually will mix up different colors and test them on another paper until I find the right hue for my painting. I suggest doing this if you're a beginner, cause this will help you get more familiar with your palette and the more you paint, the easier for you to find out the color you are looking for. After I'm done with the first layer, I start painting the darkest red color around the edge. Here I mix up some red, brown, and purple color. Then I gradually move to the central part of the strawberry. Around this area, I mix up some red with orange, so it has a brighter red color. Then move to the lower part of the strawberry, I put on the pure red color. After I'm done with second layer, I go back and start adding some shadows in the strawberry. That will create a realistic look. Also, for the glossy parts, it may look white, but actually it has a very light pinkish color if you look closely. So I add some very light pink color on the glossy parts, and for the shadow, I mix up red and brown color, which is darker than the pure red, but lighter than the darkest red color I use around the edge. Then I focus on adding shadows around the bottom area and the left side of the strawberry. Usually around the seeds will have a darker shadow color, so make sure to strengthen it when adding shadows. If you are not sure if there's enough details or shadows in your painting, maybe try to stop painting for a few minutes and just look at your painting from a distance. Because oftentimes when I fully focus on painting, I overdo the details. But by doing that, it usually helps me to find out whether I should continue working on certain areas or it's basically enough. Then I fill in some yellow color in the seed and continue adding the shadows on the strawberry until finish. For the leaves, I start painting by putting a first layer on which is light green. Then while the paper is still wet, I quickly add some darker green around the edge to create a natural leaf color. You can see the color blend nicely, that's because the paper is still wet. It's one of the many beautiful reasons I like about watercolor. After the paper is dry, I finish by adding the darker details of the leaf veins and shadows.
So that's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you won't miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.